Welcome back to Blueprint 2 Reality, where we turn technical concepts into simple ideas. Today, we're comparing two of the most common structural systems in construction, load-bearing wall systems and frame structures. Let's break down how these systems differ and which one is right for your project. What is a load-bearing wall system? First up, the load-bearing wall system. This is one of the oldest construction methods used in everything from ancient stone buildings to modern-day homes. On this system, walls carry the load of the building, both vertical loads, like the roof, and lateral forces, like wind or earthquakes. But these walls act as the primary support, and as a result, they can't be easily modified without affecting the building's stability. One important thing to remember, load-bearing walls usually limit the size of windows and openings because the walls need to remain strong to support the structure. What is a frame structure? Next, let's talk about frame structures. Unlike load-bearing walls, frame structures use a skeleton made from either steel, reinforced concrete, or wood to support the building. In this system, the frame, columns, and beams bears the load, while the walls are mostly non-structural, serving as partitions or for insulation. This allows for much larger windows, open spaces, and flexibility in design because the walls aren't carrying any weight. Frame structures are commonly used in high-rise buildings and modern constructions where open floor plans are important. Let's go deeper into the load-bearing wall system. What are its strengths and weaknesses? On the plus side, load-bearing walls are often cost-effective for smaller buildings, especially homes, because they don't require as much steel or concrete. They also provide excellent thermal insulation, which can make a building more energy efficient. However, the downside is limited flexibility. Once the walls are in place, it's difficult to modify the layout without compromising the structure. And if you're looking to build taller than a few stories, this system becomes less practical due to the need for thicker, stronger walls. Now for the frame structure system. Why would you choose this? Frame structures offer greater design flexibility. Since the load is carried by the frame, walls can be moved or removed entirely, making it perfect for open plan spaces. This system also supports taller buildings and allows for larger windows, which is why it's popular in high-rise and commercial structures. But there are downsides too. Frame structures can be more expensive to build due to the materials required, like steel or reinforced concrete. They can also require more specialized labor and take longer to construct. Load-bearing versus frame structures. When to choose. So, when should you choose one over the other? Uh, if you're building a low-rise structure, like a residential house or a small commercial building, the load-bearing wall system could be a cost-effective and energy-efficient option. However, if you need design flexibility, large open spaces, or if you're going for a tall building, then frame structures are the way to go. In the end, it's all about your project's needs. Load-bearing wall systems offer simplicity and cost savings, while frame structures provide flexibility and support for larger, more complex designs. Thanks for tuning in to Blueprint to Reality. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more construction insights.